هلا يا هلا Hi, we're Keith and Deb, and presently we're traveling around Morocco. In our latest vlog, we finished our desert tour from Marrakesh all the way to Fes, where we're exploring today. Subscribe to follow along. So we arrived in Fes two days ago. It was a bit of a rocky start. A mixture of a few things. Our Airbnb wasn't what it turned out to be. The AC does not work properly, so it's really hard being in here. There's no windows. It's hot. Huh? And then the location's incorrect on Airbnb and we're pretty far away from stuff. It's been this whole thing to navigate ourselves through Fesh. We're here to do some work, to catch up, to plan, to book, and there's no Wi-Fi? We don't have accommodations booked after this. Wi-Fi doesn't work and neither does the signal. So now that we have a SIM card that actually should work, who doesn't on 4G? As well as, I think after about almost five months of travel, the homesickness has finally hit me pretty hardcore. It's been a long day and I feel a bit overwhelmed. And I don't mean, we don't mean to be negative at night because I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> so it's been an interesting few days, but we are in Fes and we want to push through it and we really want to see this city. So today, we've been told by many people to do a walking tour because it can be a bit intense, which we've already learned. So we are going to be doing an Airbnb walking tour and see the city. All right, let's go see if we can find this place. Okay, so we got Ahmed here. <laughs> My Airbnb is gonna guide us through this maze of a city to our guided tour. Okay, so thanks to his directions and a bit of Google Maps, we found our tour guide over here. Let's go meet Hannah. Already, it's blue skies and sunny. I'm feeling better already today. It's gonna be a good day. Hi. 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 Thank you so Hi. much. Hey, nice to meet you. Keith, Keith, Adrian. Adrian, cool. Devin. Nice Devin. We're in the souk right now for fruit and vegetable markets. Oh. And fish and meat and everything. It's not just fruit and veggies. All right. Okay, over there. So what, what is this I called? Sphinge. Sphinge. This is Sphinge. This is Sphinge. <laughs> and it's like a donut? Breakfast <laughs> in Yes. Alright, Keith, how is it? That's really quite nice. It's like a donut? It's not, it's not too sweet. It's not a sweet sauce. No. Just like that, we'll keep going. I've <laughs> donuts in my hand. Oh, yeah. Let's go. 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 What a phenomenal view. This is actually amazing. So nice. Oh my god. We also learned that here, or maybe it's all of Morocco, but here the Riyads are big five story buildings and the Dars are the places like we're staying in. Yeah. So it's a fest. It could be a fest thing or a Moroccan thing. Or if you know, let us know because we don't know. But very cool. It's the okay? biggest maze in the world. Yeah. Easy to get lost. <laughs> yeah. so only... We know that. Yes. <laughs> uh, only uh, in Fest you can spend one week, you can finish the visit inside. Oh, oh wow. Because yeah. We have 9,400 streets. 9,400 streets, what? No wow. wonder we are getting lost. And 187 neighborhoods. And this is why you get a guided tour when you're here. <laughs> no kidding. Oh, oh. Ben, luckily. With all the campfires I've ran in the past, my fingers are numb anyway. It's so hot. It's very hot. It's hot. I'm going to put it right here. Is that okay? So that little hole in the wall is essentially where everyone goes and leaves their dough and they bake it. And they bake it for the restaurants as well and they bake it for the locals. Which is really neat. And now we're outside and it feels cold. I feel like, whoa, I need a sweater or something. Just kidding. Go into an even smaller street. Oh my goodness. This is why you get lost here, people. <laughs> the answer is Ali Kamal. Oh man, I can stand the phone on you. Oh, you just barely see sure. it. Sure. It's always like touch over here. Exactly. And oh, the, you keep the, the, the tradition. Yes, it seems like it. Okay. Oh wow. People just, live in here. People it's live here. Two, two houses. Two rehab. Oh. 
This is with almond and cheese. We're just eating these cookies in our bakery. Here. In our bakery. Are they good? What do they taste like? Oh, they're um, so like. Almost like homemade okay, cheese crackers. Yeah, che yeah, cheese crackers. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know those industrial cheese crackers? But these ones are homemade <laughs> cheese crackers. Wow. Mm. That's so awesome. It's like a mm. homemade oh, yeah. goldfish, but way better. <laughs> That's so you awesome. eat a whole bag of those. Thank you so much. Merci. Thank you so much. Merci. 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 Très bon. Merci. So already, I'm so happy we're doing this tour with Hannah because we're seeing things we wouldn't normally see and going places we would normally get way lost in. So I'm really happy with this decision and we're seeing Fest in a new light. What's really neat is being able to go into these local shops, go behind the counters or in these houses, like people's houses in Riyadh. And it's like, okay, VIP over here. So we're still moving. We're in the Sook again, and we're uh, just hopping from place to place. It's so cool. Yeah, good experience. You got the entire range of food also, New wood because there was a fire here in the last couple of years. No, in the last couple of months. I months? I don't oh, know, geez. But it's beautiful. So it's really nice now. They re rebuilt it. These right here are used as toothpicks. And they smell like mint. Like spearmint. <laughs> so we're now in the copper section, just walking through. And this is actually a 14th century boarding school, just here in the middle of the city. That makes sense, eh? I was really trying to learn how to do it, but apparently I was not doing it right. <laughs> it's like in the museum with those little blocks that they give the kids to play around with. They didn't really want her to do anything. Okay, I gotta say, it's crazy how loud that was and how fast the noise disappeared after going down one street. That's so quiet now. That was a wedding dress, and apparently the bride changes her dress six times during the two to four day celebration. Yeah, two day celebration. I had no idea weddings were like this. So we just learned a lot about the mawage in, <laughs> in this in this uh, in this culture. And oh my goodness, is it ever ornate and detailed? Wow! I thought weddings were a big deal in, in Canada. Moroccan weddings are insane. Wow. <laughs> So we're now entering the sacred street and that's what that piece of wood was to represent. So I'm trying to keep track of all this information that we're, that we're being told here. Mula Idris was a cousin of the Prophet and came here in 808, year 808, from uh, Iraq. And essentially was the king and that's when it was the imperial city and it was the capital of Morocco. And he built this city starting in 808, and then it moved to Marrakesh, the next imperial city, in the 14th century. Entering a traditional Berber carpet shop. They like their steep steps here. This is the best view and so 6, far we've seen. 6,000 students. 6,000 students. First world, Medina. Yeah. This is the oldest university oldest in the world, supposedly. World, this is so beautiful up here. I can't get over this view. 360 views. It feels quite refreshing, though, to get on a terrace and to see around this area that you're just, this maze that you're exploring. This right here, this big building, is one of the important monuments here in Fes. It is the mausoleum for Idris, who was the king who came here in 808, who brought Islam to Morocco. This is a white camel, this is the dark camel. Sandals off, we're gonna feel this with our feet. Of course, sit on it. <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna have a carpet, I'm gonna sit on it. Yes, true, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're gonna sit in the lighter carpets, I think. Quite a few. We've now been to a few carpet shops, as you know, but every time it's just so interesting to see and learn more about it. <laughs> 
What's Look. crazy too that we've learned is that every symbol, every intricate design means something. This is the family symbol for this Berber carpet over here. This is the Berber symbol. It's from the I. Jewish tribe. Tableau dans les tableaux. Like what is, this is a Berber Picasso. This is gorgeous. Like the amount of work. Also because if you flip it over, it's it's like reversible. The, yeah, like yeah, definitely love beautiful. Doing like so much beautiful artwork. It's a Berber family tea. It's fresh mint. This carpet wow. will come anytime. Thank you so much. Four months to work. Grand finale carpet. Okay. Grand finale. We have one more carpet. Ooh, sweet. Eh? Yeah. We have oh, one more carpet yeah. to, to show. That is fashion now mm. in the world. Ah, uh, yes. But this one with the shipping for the push. Berber tea time, which means sweet. It's very sweet, but it's very good. <laughs> Even when you ask for half sweet. Best carpet experience yet. I think so. I think it's the best carpet experience you've had. <laughs> We just walked by the university in this area and it was made by a woman in the 1800s which I just think is so incredible and so amazing and her name was Fatima and it's a mosque and university. It's the second largest mosque other than the one in Casablanca and it was designed by a woman yeah. in the 1800s. Like that's amazing, so cool. I don't know what these rooms are well asked. Maybe it was bedrooms or study rooms, I'm not sure. But you had to come to this school to study the Quran, to memorize it before you were allowed to go to the university. And she said there was usually about 60 students that were living here and studying. Six hundred years old. I just learned. Yep. Amazing. It's beautiful. I miss trees. I want to hug. Give it a hug. I'm gonna hug the tree. I love trees. I love trees. I miss trees. That's it. Those two trees were the only two trees in the whole Medina in Fes. Hopefully, they never cut them down. Those were amazing. We're now entering the woodworking museum, which was recommended to us. So let's go check it out. So it was a motel, a police station, and a prison? Yeah, and the museum of the wood. That the museum. Man, this is architectural wood used in the 14th century in Fes. There's actual descriptions on everything, which is really special from Morocco. We haven't seen we haven't seen descriptions and details and dates this whole time in Morocco, but here there is the Museum of Wood. Well, that was a pretty neat museum. Yeah. A lot on display, a lot of information. Totally would recommend. So cool. And we're still going. We just keep moving. We're still moving. We've now made it to the street food section. That being said, we're gonna try, or I'm gonna try, a little turkey chicken mixed kebab thing. We saw a bunch of these on the street. What are these called? What she said. This is awesome. These are aubergine, so I can eat it because I don't have any um, wheat. I can't even remember. Oh my goodness. It's so good. Oh my gosh. Wow. I love vegetables. Oh my god. This is a sardine. And how would you call this? Sardine. You sardine. Like this. Yeah, I love sardines. Yeah. And they're breaded too. She did it really, really well. Took out, took out the spine. I might not be as graceful. As graceful here. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Is it good? Oh yeah. That's a good sandwich. This time you're actually doing something. <laughs> So we're going to the biggest tannery in Fes. In Fes. It's the 14th Lanjua. century, right? Yeah, 14th and, century. And what's the name? Shawara. Shawara. Shawara, the biggest one in the old city. Okay. And it's in the part of Andalus. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> the mint is for our nose, so you keep it in the, your nose so that you can go look at it. The tanneries, the tanneries, that's what we're going to go see, and it's what Fes is known for. So we're finally going to see them. Biggest one.
Well, this is one of the reasons people come to Fesh. Is to see this. This is, we learned, the biggest in North Africa. Yeah. Is right behind us. It's actually insane. Entire. And this is a lot of work. They're jumping from bin to bin. There's Changing a lot of color. A lot of steps to the process and in the direct sunlight too. So they're working hard. Very hard, yeah. yeah. It's very... Also, we learned instead of using saffron for the yellow or the orange, they're using turmeric here. Which makes sense because it stains all my clothes. It's really, really <laughs> stainy. Oh, got a whiff. Give me that, some of that mint. It comes and goes, but sometimes you get a whiff and it's pretty potent. So we're heading out. All right. So we left that big tannery, I have to say. Now everything smells great. <laughs> This right. tour was incredible. We're ending it now. We learned so much. Hannah is welcome in our city anytime. Uh, we love you so much. You've changed our experience. Thank you. We'll miss you. Thank you so much. Because you are so lovely also. I like you. I like you too. I wish for you the best. Same. Same with us. Give your baby a hug for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, we're on our path home. Blue. We, we recognize the blue. Blue, what's it called? The windy path to get <laughs> yes. back to our place. Hey, water. So we're gonna go back, and then actually we'll go. We're gonna go to our favorite cafe we found two days ago. Three days we've been here. We've gone there every day because it's nice. It has Wi-Fi and keeping you keeping it real. We have to upload a video. That's right, and we also really like the smoothies. And Devin oh, likes consistency, smoothies. and I don't mind a bit of consistency right now like. in our chaotic life. Woo! Here. Yeah, yeah I, I can't imagine what full suite would be. Whew. So, oh, okay, there was super zoomed in on my face. It wasn't a person trying to get by, it was a horse. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yeah. The smell begins. This is what everybody knows about Fest is the smell, what we were told. That didn't make sense. It smells like hot poop. You know, I've been living in in Fez for you know like uh, like, like 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 two weeks, bro. You know, I, so I kind of know know this place. <laughs> we're gonna go over. No, there's no hope for us. We are lost. We don't know where we're going. We I think I think I'm just gonna see where the carpets are and just follow that. You know, <laughs> if that makes sense, right? Sounds great. Let's Wherever, do it. Where the carpets are. Take no. me home, Adrian. All right, let's let's go this way. <laughs> 